Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here at the Conga Room in Los Angeles. Angel Garcia joining me right now. We're going to see his son fight Robert the Ghost Guerrero this Saturday on Fox. And of course on the uh, top of everybody's mind is what happened at the press conference. Ruben kind of got in there, said what he had to say. Okay. You reacted okay. naturally. So exactly. Let me know what was going on through your mind when that was happening and really well, your comments on all that. What was going through my mind is, is he really acting like I'm fighting his son? He was really acting like I'm fighting his son. You better start worrying about his son. He got his hands full. And start worrying about Angel Garcia. And start worrying about uh, uh, Robert. Because he's wor he worrying so much about me that he's forgetting the real fight. The real fight is Danny and his son. I'm not going in the ring with him. And I'm not, I'm not going in the ring with his son. And, and if he wants to fight, he got to be more than a million. Fuck that. I ain't doing that shine thing. No, you can, you can you know, say what you feel, no, man. You right. <laughs> I ain't taking no less than a million to get punched in the face. I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> Only for a million. <laughs> he has to get paid if he's going to get it. Hey, listen. In charity, no hard feeling for charity out there. I am charity. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, when he was getting in your face, in your mind, you were just, eh, you know, whatever. No, no, Nothing's no, going to no, happen. No, I'm not going to do I, anything. I, I, my, my, I, I, have, I was all 100 on that. Like, I was on. Oh, I was on point. So you were ready then? No, I was ready. Yeah? Yeah, like when he came to the front top of that and came forward, mm -hmm. you didn't see like I just threw the jab at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the right hand was going right behind him. Yeah. Because he was talking down here that he was going to smack me. Mm -hmm. So I was already ready up there. I was going to hit him with a jab right hand, straight. Yeah. Boom, boom, quick. Because when you pass that reach, it's over. Mm -hmm. But he talking about punch him first. Come on, man, some little kid shit. <laughs> Punch me first. Come on, man. You talking all that round, round, man. Just fire. I got some answers for that. Mm -hmm. What do you think kind of lit the fuse on, on well, his end? What do you think uh, where it's all come from? I told him something. I showed him a video. So I don't mm -hmm. know. He probably took that shit personal. Yeah. I mean, they talk about me all the time. I don't take that shit personal. They talk about God and crucify them and spit them and stab them. See, oh, hell, Caesar just got stabbed by his own stab. Yeah. stab yeah. Brutus. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? They talk about everybody. They talk about you. They talk about him. You can't get mad every time somebody say something. Then you're on the wrong planet. So I guess I just sparked it up when somebody must have told him something. But don't worry about me. Worry about January 23rd. That's two days from today. Tomorrow we weighing in. And he's right now, he's walking around 149 right now. He can make weight tonight. But we kept on. He's been 149 all week eating. Now he ain't like a pig. He ain't right. And he's 149. He can make 47 tonight. Looking at Danny, like you mentioned, looks good, but at the press conference, too, I think it was the first time I actually legitly seen him angry. Like, you, you could tell he was angry. Uh, talk to me uh, about that and if you had a chance to talk to him since... Uh, no, yeah, I haven't talked to him yet, but, uh, but I know why, because uh, he tried to share the bell and uh, Ghost tried to take it. Yeah. Like, trying, that's disrespectful. Like, mm -hmm. no, we're going to win. Like, we're sharing it right now. It's, they don't even belong to him or it don't even belong to Danny yet. It's still the WBC owns it. So we're going to take pictures with it and go, the goes out trying to embarrass. I guess he's following his father's footsteps. Because he's, you know, he's usually real humble, too. I mean, he ain't get tough with Floyd and Floyd exposed him. I know Floyd ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm trying to bring Floyd into this. But you had the biggest fucking fight of your life besides January 23rd. And you gave it all up. You gave it all up, brother. That tells you a lot about him. What does that tell you? It tells you he ain't greedy, he ain't hungry like that. He, he, that's why he got three losses. That's why he got three losses. Oh, he's depending on his name, his resume, I guess, for other guys. But we're going to take advantage of him and fuck his ass up. Looking at uh, some videos that you uh, did in the last week, I know you've gotten a little bit of heat about comments you made in a video where you said that uh, fighters shouldn't take certain fights to, to kind of build it up. And, and hearing you, I, I kind of saw it as like, I don't think you had a chance to really explain yeah. the way the words wanted exactly. to come out. I kind of took it as yeah. they should build into yeah. a bigger yeah, fight. Exactly. But go ahead and tell yeah. me what you know you want to say well, in regards to that. No, yeah, what I what I'm trying to say was that, like an example, I was they were talking about Sean and Porter. Yeah. So what I meant to say when I said Saka was Saka. The only reason I brought Saka into the picture because Danny already beat Saka because he already beat him. Now Danny would have never fought him, but would have never brought him into the picture. That's why I brought Saka, because Danny already beat him. Don't mean somebody else could beat him. They might lose, they might, I'm not saying those guys will lose, but somebody might lose to him. That's why I brought Saka. And what I meant was, instead of fighting themselves now, they could boy probably in the end of the year, build a bigger resume, bring a bigger fan base to themselves, 
and, and be a bigger fight for each other and take them to a different level. Because right now, they're going to fight each other. And somebody's going on with an O. That could either hurt them or break them when they could have waited a little more. I'll give you a good example. When Floyd was supposed to fight Manny Pac-Man three years ago, if it would have happened then, Floyd wouldn't have got $100 million. Manny wouldn't have got $80 million. They probably would have got 20. Floyd probably would have got 50. Or Manny probably would have got about 40 because he's a megastar in his country. That's what I meant. Because they would, that's what I try to, that's what I try to say. They try to make it seem like I was saying that we won't fight easy fight. Nobody. Yeah, easy. that's how it kind of came yeah. off, and yeah. fans were saying like, well, no. that's the reason why you no. know no, Danny gets thing, this stuff, no, this criticism online no, and all that. The thing is this, that, but the thing is this, the fans can say whatever they want to say, but Danny for Khan, he for Matisse, he for uh, Zad, a good Zad, he for Peterson, he for when he was five and zero, he fought a guy twenty eight and zero. With 18 KO with 14 losses, an hour before the fight, Southpaw, the undercar of two pound and uh, Oscar De La Hoya and two pounds DB at the Home Depot Center, and I took that fight an hour before. So you look at Danny's resume. We never, I never turned nobody down. When they gave me one name, that's what I wanted. So that's what I meant. So I want people to understand that that Danny, Danny didn't have it easy. He fought his way here. That's why he's here today. They just don't like him. They just don't like him. It's okay. I mean, you don't have to like me. You know what I mean? You, we, we can work together, it means we friends. You know, we just co-workers. <laughs> I'm not going to invite you to dinner. You know what I'm saying? But doesn't mean I hate you. But you, know, you cook be, well, though. No, exactly. No, but, yeah, <laughs> but meaning is this. Not, not everybody you meet in your life, yeah, you're going to yeah. like. Exactly. Speaking of uh, Matisse, Whenever I go out, people always bring up the time that me and you had that interview. You remember that? Because everybody always brings it up. No, but that was good for you. <laughs> Dude, I seriously no, thought you were going to choke me. No, no. no, no I would I never. Do that. No, but I would never. I would never disrespect nobody. Yeah, I don't know if you no, ever no, like looked at it or remembered you, it. No, that was good for you. Shit. <laughs> Angel, man, I appreciate it. Thank you. It's always good seeing you. you Angel bro. Garcia, of course, the father of Danny Garcia. This Saturday, main event, his son taking on Robert the Ghost Guerrero on Fox.